this is Artisan Loom once again. I am going to show you how to do uh, this bracelet and it's by Nix Haley 22 and uh, on Instagram and she's my one of my best friends on Instagram. I've come to know her really well. She's got some amazing designs and this is one of them that she, her own original design she came out with, and it's called the King's Armor. And it's beautiful colors. She incorporated chain, which I did this part, but she showed me how to do her chaining, which is very unique. And then the black rhinestones down that, down that way. But this is what it looks like. And I'm gonna be trying to um, sh do this tutorial for her um, so that you'll be able to make renditions of it. Anyhow, it's it's a gorgeous, gorgeous um, bracelet. I even attempted to make one of her locks. I'm not sure I've totally figured it out, but it's one of her locks. I got to figure out this bottom part. But um, anyhow, this is what I'm going to be showing you how to do. Okay, I'm probably not going to bead this, but if you choose, you could you could bead the edging um, instead of using the chain, or you can use chain or, or whatever you decide to do. Um, but today I'm just going to show you the unblinged version. Okay, and it is a nine pin bar setup. Your loom looks like this. Two outer pins the same length and then one down, one, two, three down, one, two, three up. So two outer pins, then stagger it down until it comes to a point. By the way, I finally got some Jamberry nails that I got off Amanda and Monica Arlumi's um, party that she had. So now I at least have some halfway decent nails. Not that you cared, but I'm pretty excited. Anyhow, um let's see so when you get you need your loom uh well let's see i can't remember how many looms i got i think i've got all of my looms but it's nine pin bars across and i have two loom links long so um i'm going to go ahead and do it in the full um length but um you can do it on just the one loom length if you desire to Today I'm going to do it in a little bit different colors. This is the um, medieval black that I'm going to use for my border. So let's see here. We're going to take, go from the center. Let me try to get my hands out the way. Go from the center to the left. Let me just follow it around. And one more over. Okay, and then you go back to the center and follow it over to the edge. Just like that. Make sure you push all your bands down too while we're while we're doing this. Hopefully you can see this whole loom. I'm still trying to get used to this. Okay. And I'm going to apologize up front if my kids get loud. Um, they've missed an entire week of school last week, plus the weekend, plus this weekend. And we just got another 10, or excuse me, 14 inches of snow, which is going to be followed by rain. So that's going to be interesting. I just, I'm going a little stir crazy and I just really want to do a tutorial. And um, so I'm trying to tell them to be quiet, but I don't know if they're going to cooperate. So anyhow... This is how you do it. Up the, you're going to stop right here, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to make X's going all the way down. So you're going to you're going to go. Let's see. Okay, you're going to go from right to left, and then left to right with an X, and you're going to right to left left right and you're going to do it the same exact way all the way up the loom and this is what I'll look on on this side 
And let's see, that way. So you're just making X's all the way up. Okay, so just go ahead and finish going all the way to the end of the loom and I'll show you what it looks like at the end. Okay, this is what your loom should look like and I have officially run out of my medieval black, which I thought I had more than enough of. So I guess what I'm going to do is you come here and you make your last X, which is one, two, three, four, five. You do your last X on the fifth pin bar, and then you're going to come in two, actually three. And I'm just going to use black, just because I don't, I don't have any. I'm I'm lacking just a couple of these colors um, of the medieval, so I'm just going to use black just for tutorial purposes. Okay, and you're going to do one in the center, or one. So you're going to do your X here. And then one, two, three to the center, and then you're going to finish your X here and do one, two, three to the center. So I like I, I needed two of them, but that's okay. Every bracelet has a flaw, so that's what it should look like. And I will try not to turn my loom too much because my stabilizers are very. I've used every one that I have except for one, and it's already wanting to come up. Okay, let's see. Now we are going to do, um, for this part, this gold part, we're going to use metallic white. I believe that's what I'm going to be using for that. And basically you're just going to go from that second pin bar, um, you're going to do a zigzag all the way up. Okay, so you're going to go from th there to there. And then you're going to go back towards the end of that X and you're just going to zigzag it. Let me get some more whites. All the way up to the end of your loom. Okay. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like on this side as well. So you're going to go from there to there to the right, to the left, and just simple zigzag is, zigzag is, man, you'd think I'd been drinking already. Um, it's going to follow that straight up till you get to the end of the loom. So I'll let you go ahead and finish that part so that for tutorial sake, I'm not going to work with you the entire time because otherwise it'll be like an hour and a half. So I have faith that you guys can do the zigzag all the way up to the end. This is what your loom should look like. Um, I'll move this down so that you can see what the end looks like. You're just going to, to stop it right there and the same for this side. So that's all you do on that part. Okay, the next step I'm going to use, this time I'm going to be using some black cylindric, which are like the, the round bands. That's what I'm going to be using for this part. And you're just going to make a simple chain going all the way up on both sides. So you're going to start here and you're going to do a simple chain and go all the way to the end. Okay, whoops. And on this side, you're going to do the same thing. Simple chain. Whoops. Stick your fingers here. All the way up. So, simple enough. I'm going to let you finish it to the end. Okay, so you should have the X's going up the side, the white zigzags going up, and now a single chain all the way to the very end till it matches up with the border. Okay, now we're going to do another zigzag pattern going up. And I think for this one, I was planning to use the medieval black, 
but I am completely out of the medieval bat black. I was trying to keep my colors to have to, to the medieval black, white, silver. Now I'm not really, or gray. I'm not sure what I'm going to do right about now. Let me just check. Let me see what this is. Okay. Your X's, or your border was this. Your X's were this color. And then where I have the rhinestones, where I have the black, it would be the white. And then I have, let's see, where this single chain is. I believe that's where I put the silver. And now, for those zigzags, I have black in this one, but I kind of don't know what to do. I guess what I'll do is some more white. We'll just do white. I think that will work just fine. Okay. So we'll start off here on this peg and go to the right and start your zigzagging. Oh, jeez. You'll just start your zigzagging all the way up like we just did. And that's what it'll look like on that side. And you're going to start off right here with this one. Make sure you push your bands down too along the way. You get a lot more bands on it, but you're basically oops, going to go zigzagging it all the way down till the end. So I'll meet you back up here in just a okay. second. I finished doing it all the way up, and this is what your loom should look like. You end by bringing the zigzag over to the border. Okay. And now, let me figure out what we're doing here. We are going to do a, let me move some of my stuff out the way. We're going to go ahead and do a single chain up the center, okay? For me, I'm going to make that black, um, but that's what this, this single chain up the center that I did in silver, or yeah, metal, um, some silver Ellie I'm going to do in black, but that's the next step. So you're just going to do a simple single chain all the way up. And I'm trusting that you know how to do that. So I'm going to let you be. With that, and then, well, I'll, I'll let you finish. The, I'll go on to the next step. You're going to do the, the black chain down the center, or whatever color you're choosing to do. And then the very next step, let me make sure, let's see. The very next step is going to be where I have this gold, that line of gold right there. I'm going to be using, let's see here, that's black, that's going to be gray. Um, I'm going to be doing that in black as well. That's just what I'm going to be doing, It's but it's whatever you choose to do. So I'm going to use these black LED bands again, and we're going to go single chain all the way up. So you'll do the same thing on this side with the single chain going all the way up. Okay, so you don't have to use these same colors as I'm using. Um, it could be two different colors here and then the one or however. Um, I'm choosing to do it this way. Um, but you're going to make a single chain all the way down here, a single chain down the center, and a single chain here. So I'm going to let you do all three of those chains and, um, and I'll meet you back whenever you get done with that and show you the next step. This is what your loom should look like. I'm just going to lift my camera and drag it because I don't want it to fall off. But you in those three chains right here, okay? Okay. All right. Next step I'm going to be using, I believe it's Gray Sweets, um, but it's this part that's beside the gray. It's, the, it's that part that's what's left. 
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use the glitter gray and you're going to start off in the center peg here and you're going to do a long stretch to the left. Hold on, I'm trying to... Okay, you're going to do a long stretch to the right. Okay, then you're going to take one and you're going to go on this first peg here and you're going to go towards the center a long stretch and there to there. So it kind of looks like, you know, I, I say arrow and I say V because it helps me as I'm um, placing the bands that way because, I don't know, I'm just weird like that. But this kind of looks like a V, so you're going to do the V first and then you're going to do the arrow. Okay, the next step is... Okay, you're going to do the V again, and you're going to, on that second peg, you're going to do the long stretch to the left, long stretch to the right, push my bands down, and then you're going to do, my son came in here, and he was uh, screaming like a madman, so I felt like I needed to go to a break, but that's what you're going to do. You're going to start off with your V, then you're going to do your arrow. Then the second peg up, you're going to start with the V, and then you've got to connect it right here. So you're going to do the arrow. So the second peg will go to the arrow. So you just need to um, remember that you've got to connect all these. So I guess another way to look at it is, though, we, we connected here, and we're going to go down one and do the V. So I always count down one and then go to the left for the V. Okay, well, maybe that's not a good analogy. <sighs> well, anyhow, that's for when I do the V. Okay, so below this pin, you're going to go down one, and you're going to do the, the arrow. Okay, you're going to go down one and do the V. Okay. And then you end it here, so you're going to go down one, and you're going to do the arrow. Maybe that was a good way to point it out. Okay, you end it here, down one, and that's where you're going to connect. Because it can be confusing. You want to make sure you're connecting all these. V. Okay, and then what you're going to do is below the last one you laid, you're going to connect and do the arrow. And you're going to do that all the way up, these and arrows, all the way up to the very end. And then one more with the arrow. Okay, I'm trusting I gave you enough time. Just be, make sure that all, that all the pegs are connected to something. So, but I will be back when you get done to the end, I'll show you and we'll move on to the next step. Here's the end of my loom. So I was just going to show you the last one I made a V and now I'm going to end it with an arrow. Connects to the end like that. And that's how your loom should look. Just like this. Alright. So I guess what we need to do now is put cat bands all down your center. Make sure that's what we got going on here. Yep. So what we're going to need to do is take it in the same band color and put cat bands all up and down these center chains. I know it's a lot, but you can either do it like this by taking a band putting your hook through it, twisting it on there twice, because I like triple ones. Just like Mona, Monica, Amanda and Monica Arlumi, they use triple, so I find that to be better too. Okay, so you're gonna put one there. Another way I like to do it, and this is just, what it's whatever's easiest for you to do, but I do mine a little different, and I'm sure a lot of people do. Um, it's probably the same for most loomers, but 
it took me a while to figure it out, but when I finally got it, okay, you just put it on there and twist it on the pin three times, just like that. So you're just going to do three cat bands, or triple cat band on all the pegs going down the center. So you're just going to follow that straight up. Now we've got to do the border going all the way up. And I am officially out of Gray Sweets. Cannot believe I let myself get out of Gray Sweets because they're one of my favorites. So I'm going to move on to Cylindric Gray, uh, Metallic Gray. Um, let me go back and see if I need to have um, one step. I don't think. Okay, I don't think we're going to put a... Uh, I think I was wrong on this. I don't think we're ready to put a... Um, I think we start and go down the center with all the cat bands that we don't start here. I don't think so. At least that's not what it's showing on my notes. So you're just going to follow your basic um, perimeter. Across, then you're going to go up, up the loom. Sorry for my arm getting in the way. So over here, you're going to move. Well, let me get all my bands going. Okay, I'm just going to follow this one all the way, and then to the right. And then all the way up till you get to the very end. So I'm going to let you finish to the end of the loom. And I'll meet you back here. And I think that may be one of our last steps before we start the looming process. But you'll have to wait and see. Once you uh, come up to here, you're going to go in one. And then you're going to go to the right to come in towards the center. Sorry about that. I'm trying to hold my camera up so you guys can see. Come, Well, you know what? Maybe we don't need a cat band on the end of this one either. So go ahead and pull that off. You're going to pull that to there. And the same way here. You come to the end. You're going to go straight across. And then just follow your border. If I can get enough bands. Well, let me try it this way. And then it meets in the center. So it goes here and all the way down. Okay, now I guess I need to see what the very next step is going to be. Okay. I think at that point we are going to end up putting a cat band at the very end. Yep, that's what's going to happen. So I'll just turn my loom around real quick. Whoa, this is a hoss. This is a hoss. Okay. Turn my loom around and I'm going to go ahead and put a triple cat band right here with my perimeter color. Okay, and it's already one to come up because my stabilizers just aren't very good. Okay, so now on to the looming, looping process. Okay, we're going to go in through this cat band and we're going to grab the first border band and take it to the left. Go back in there the cat band and take the border band to the right and I think that's all we're going to loop up of the border just yet okay or no let me just check nope we're gonna okay well that makes sense we're gonna loop the whole entire border that wasn't I was thought I was seeing something else I've made this once before but it was a couple weeks ago so now I'm having to refer back to the notes, but you're going to follow the border all the way around on both sides and all the way up, and I'll meet you back. You did the borders all the way up, 
you get to the end and then you came in and you followed it and you connected it on both sides. So that's what that step was. Sorry about all the confusion. Okay. So the next step is, is we're going to be going in through this cat band, through the first pin bar. Okay, hold on just a second. Let me check my notes. Okay, so the next step is, is you're going to go in and you're going to grab these, this V, the V band. So you go in through the cat band, you grab the, the band that's on top and pull it up to the right. Go back in, grab the one band and pull it up towards the left. Okay, then you are going to, let's see, I believe you're going to go in through this three, uh, third pin bar up, grab it, and then you're going to pull it down towards the perimeter. Oops, grab that band, pull it down. Okay, so that's what that's going to look like. Then you are going to did you go into there or let me try to see. Okay, then you're going to go into the second pin bar, and you're going to, do I have the right? You're going to grab the band that makes that long stretch to the right, and then grab the makes the long stretch to the left, and you're going to go back in that first, the first, uh, pin bar, move it up, okay, and then you're going to go, I'm going to move it up again, you go up twice, you're going to go up to this fourth pin bar, go in and grab that band that is that makes the long stretch, the one that's on top. And you're gonna go back in and make the one going down, okay? You're gonna go into that third pin bar and you grab the one that goes to the left. And then you're gonna go in and grab the center one, okay? Now let me see if I can, I need to do this a few more times with you. I have a feeling, just for my own sanity. Okay, at this point, you're going to go up to the next pin bar. You're going to grab the one that goes to the left. Go back in, grab the one that goes to the right, downward. Then you're going to go to the one before it. And go with the one that stretches up. Okay, then you're going to go back in here and grab that single chain and pull it up. Okay, I'll show you one more time and then I'm going to let you go on your own. Okay, since we did the single chain that came up to here, we're going to go up one and we're going to grab that one that's going to go over these bands. So go up one. Oops. Come down. Okay. Go back in that same one. Down to the right. And then you're going to go in here because you need to cross these bands. Okay. Go in here and grab the top one to the left. Top one to the right. And then you go back in here and grab that single chain. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, and if I could make this, let me see if I can rearrange this and maybe do it one more time. Because I really, I don't know why I was so confused. Okay. I'm going to do one more with you. Okay. So since you ended with this single chain going up the center you're going to go up one and you're going to grab the top band 
and pull it down to connect it with these. Okay, get the one on the right downward. You're going to go into this, uh, the one below it. Grab the one cross bin that goes towards the left. And then go back in and grab the one that goes to the right. And what's left in here is that single chain and you pull it straight up. Okay, so you're going to finish that all the way down to the end. And then I will meet you back. Okay, the next step that we're going to do is we're going to loop up these single chains that are on either side here. Okay, so they're just going to go straight up. So pretty simple. Go in, grab your single chain, move it forward. You've got to make sure you push these bands down though. Go back, go back in and just keep doing your single border. So it's pretty tight, so you might want to... I guess I should have said that at the beginning. You'll figure it out along the way. Hopefully not too late. Maybe I'll edit the beginning and, and say, but um, you really need to use good quality bands. Rainbow Loom's the best. Um, but you want really good quality bands because you this is a pretty tight design and you're gonna get you're gonna have so many on on the pegs. It's just gonna be you just gotta make sure you have the right bands. Okay, so you wanna grab and do your single chain all the way up on both sides. I'll let you finish that one. I'll meet you back for the next step. You've got your single chains going up. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go in through the second peg here and you're going to grab the top band which is going to be my white the one that's crossing this way and this is a different looping technique we're going to go up um, and I believe this I'd like to give credit to uh, Lou Maniac because I believe this is the stitch that she did on her dahlia burst her dahlia burst bracelet so if I'm not mistaken, um, but anyhow, you take this top band and instead of putting it down to itself, you're going to do a long stretch. Okay. And then you're going to go back in to that second peg, grab this band where it would normally come here, but you're going to pull it towards the border. Okay. You got that? Now we're going to go back in to the third peg up. We're going to grab that top band. Okay. And instead of pulling it back to itself, we're going to pull it a long stretch up. Go back into that one and we're going to do a long stretch down. Okay. And that's basically the sequence. Okay. So you'll go into this fourth peg up. And instead of bringing it to itself, you'll go this long stretch, go back into there, grab that other band, and stretch down. So up and then down. Next one up, you're going to long stretch up, grab the next band, long, long stretch down. Okay, show you one more time. You go up to the next peg, long stretch up, the next peg, long stretch down. And you follow that all the way up the loom. I'll let you finish this right side and then I'll come back for the left. When you get to the top, you're going to grab this last bound out of this peg and it's going to just make that small, um, small stretch there. Okay. Whoops. Nothing like hitting your camera. Okay, this is a big hoss. Look, I'm already bowing. Pray it doesn't come off. Oh my goodness, I'm so afraid. <laughs> this is the scariest I've been. Okay, so with this side, we're going to grab this one instead of bringing it to itself we're going to do a long stretch up okay go back into that peg and you're going to pull it down 
to the perimeter. That's the only one that's where that's going to happen. Okay, and then you're going to go long stretch up, go back in, long stretch down, go to the next one up, long stretch up, long stretch down, long stretch up, long stretch down. One more, and then I'm going to let you do it on your own. Go and grab the top band. You're going to go long stretch up, go back in that one, and long stretch down. Okay, now you can finish up, and when you get to the end, that one little, um, let's see, this last one will be a small stretch, just like we did over here. I'll let you finish that up. So, um, the next step, your, your single chain that you've got going up here on either side, you're just going to do your chain straight up. So you're going to go in, grab your chain, go up, and I'm really praying here that this whole thing doesn't fall apart. It's so, see where it's buckling up here? You probably can't tell. See where it's buckling and it's real close to each other. It's just because, I mean, the first one I made, I didn't have any problems. But my pin, I need a all new looms because my pin bars are super loose on my blue extenders. So, or stabilizer, blue thingies. Um, if I were you, I would make sure that you have all that you can find to hold it together. Not that it's that super tight, it's just, you know, if you have loose pin bars like mine. Okay, so you just, on the right side you grab the chain going straight up. And I'm gonna let you finish this one and go off camera just in case a disaster happens, which I'm really praying not. But you go straight up those two sides. We only have a couple more steps, so maybe I'll get lucky. All right, I'll see you in just a minute. It hasn't fallen apart yet. I wanna stress that this isn't that, I mean, it's a tight design, but it shouldn't make it buckle that bad. It's just, I've been doing this for too long and. <sighs> okay, next step is these zigzag ones. These, this is an easy step. You're gonna go in through this second pin bar up here and you're gonna grab that top band and you're gonna pull it back to itself. You're gonna go back in that same one, grab it and go back to itself. Then you're gonna go the next one up, grab it and pull it downwards to connect to that one. And then you're gonna go back and back to itself that way. One more. I think the concept is pretty easy. It's just, you're always gonna be working in here and bringing them back to themselves. You're not gonna go from here to here to here to here to here. You're gonna always come to here back to itself like that. Okay, and I'll go ahead and show you on this side, and then I'll let you finish. So you're going through the second pin bar, and you grab that top band, pull it back to itself, then the next one back to itself. Going through this third pin bar, grab it back to itself, back to itself, Hope my hand's not too much in the way. I know it is a little bit. I can't help it. I'm right-handed. One more. Okay. Now you can go ahead and finish that all the way up the loom, and then I believe we only have one more step left. 
Woohoo! Home stretch, baby. Okay, I'll be back. I survived. Are you ready to hear the big uh, boo boo that I have um, to correct? Well, not really to correct. I made a boo boo. I make a boo boo in every tutorial that I do. It's not that big of a of a deal, and I'll show you how to fix it. Um, I'm just now finding it as we're having to loom our perimeters here. Just this little small perimeter. I'm seeing here. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. I don't know if it'll allow me to. Okay. I did not put a band going across here. So there's just an X, and it's going to fall apart if we don't get a band under here. So what I'm going to do, and the great news is, is that I'm out of... Oh, I am totally out of the medieval black, so I'm going to have to use a black band. So anyhow, you're going to go down. Let me just show you how to fix this. Let me... I don't know if I can get a good view or not. Let me just see. Okay. Let's try this. You're going to go down. Is this going to... Okay, you're going to go down in through all these bands. Hold on. Let me see. Down to the top. Okay. All right, hold on just a minute. Let me make sure. Okay, let me, let me try to zoom in. Okay, we're going to go down in, in between all these bands and this pin bar. See that? We're even going to go in through this other um, perimeter band. Going to turn our hook, and we're going to put it on the hook, okay? Hold it with your two fingers. You're going to twist the hook back towards the peg and then pull it up. Okay? And when you pull it up, you're going to wrap it. Be careful, wrap it around the peg. Take your hook and just go around a circle so it gets back into place. Okay, then you're going to take your, your hook and you're going to go through and you're going to pull, you're going to grab it and pull it up and throw it on that peg. Okay. Uh, let's see here if I did that right. I hope I did. think I did that right. Okay, so we're going to, have to do the same thing on this side. So you're going to go in through this peg, go through all the bands. And let's see. I believe we're going to go through all the bands, including that perimeter band. I'm gonna put you're gonna put the black band on your hook. Um, can you see what I'm doing? See? You're gonna go up underneath that and you're gonna twist it to where it comes up. And then you're gonna put it on the pin. You could even grab it and pull it to the side like that just to get it back into place. Okay, and then you're going to, I'll just drop it like that. And then I'll just go in through all of them except for that X. Pull it up and pull it around. You can go in and do like that so that the black band gets to the proper place. Okay, and that should do it. So, let's see if what I did is right. 
hopefully I placed that in the right position. I believe I did, so sneeze. Hold on. Okay, so we're gonna do this perimeter going just to here. So we're gonna go from the left, you're gonna go through this first peg, and you're gonna pull it to the left. Go back in, grab the perimeter, pull it to the left. Man, I, I've got to learn to pull these bands down, or these uh, down on the peg. You're gonna go into this peg, and just follow the border around. Hmm. Maybe this was supposed to go up underneath. Okay, I th I'm thinking this needed to go underneath. Okay, let me see here. Let me check what I got going on. That's Hold right. On. You're gonna grab that one and um, and pull it to the left. So you've got all your bands going this way and then one over to the left. You're gonna do the same thing over here. You're gonna go in through that middle peg, grab that border band, bring it to the right, go in, get the last, the very last band, pull it to the right. You're gonna go in, Grab that very last band, pull it to the right, and then you're going to go in and then you're going you're gonna to get grab that other border band. Let me just see if I can get it. And you're going to pull it to the left. Okay? Yeah, that's what you do. Okay. The next step is... Let me see how she did the side real quick. Okay, from here, she's going to grab, okay, this top band, th this, this X, this is the top band, this is the bottom band, okay? She's going to wrap the bottom over the top. So we're gonna go in through this, this um, last pin bar and you're gonna pull it back to itself. And then you're gonna go in through this second pin bar, back to itself, okay? You're always gonna pull the one that's on the bottom over first, so you're always gonna go in from the right. Right, go in, and you're just gonna cross over your X's. Okay. Yeah, always the bottom one over the top, okay? And that's how we're gonna do that one. Now we're gonna show you that you're gonna do that all the way up the loom. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you this right side real quick. This band going this way is um, underneath and that's the one you wanna grab. So you're gonna go into this last peg Pull it to the right, go in through the second peg, pin bar, and go to your left. And so you always want the bottom, so you're going to go to the left, to the right, left, right left and right okay this is the last step so we're almost done I'm gonna let you finish both these because I'm gonna have to hold my loom down see how much it's wobbling I'm gonna have to hold it so I don't want to show you the craziness that's getting ready to ensue. So wish me luck getting to the top. But you go ahead and do cross over um, the bottom band over the top um, all the way down the loom. And I'll meet you back here in just okay. a second. I'm at the end here. And I am left this part to do. So once you've finally finished your, your last X, 
you're going to go in through this last peg, grab the border, mine's super tight, bring it to the right, go in and get that last one, and just follow it up, I'm trying to push the pins down, the bands down. You're just going to follow it up to the center. Okay, so you went up, over. Now you're going to go in through this one. Sorry, I'm really trying to keep this thing together. And oh, it just came off. Oh my god, I'm dying. I'm so glad it came off from right here. See, it just popped off. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me finish. I got literally two bands left. Please help me. Oh my goodness. Grab that band to this and this very last band. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I made it. Now it's all going to just pop off. Okay, now you're going to need a C-clip. So I'm going to grab me one, and I'm going to grab me, it is your border color. Is it your border color that we're going to be needing? I guess that's a gray one. Let me see if I can find a gray band. Okay, so you're going to go in through this peg, put your hook down the center, put a band on it, push towards this way so it doesn't get cut on any bands. And you're going to put it on that like that. You can put your C-clip on right now. Or you can just leave um, it on the hook like this. That's what I tend to do. But to each their own, you could put the C-clip on right there. Okay. Now that half my... Just take a look at that. Just take a look at this. Okay. I'm so excited. This is what it looks like. We're about to find out what the whole thing and how beautiful it is. This is a really neat design. I had no problems having it on my loom before. I'm thinking maybe it's because I used, well, no, on the last one I used a lot of the Ellie bands because those are a little bit tighter, but um, I. The only thing I can think is I just don't have enough of these. Should have added this last one. It probably wouldn't have fell off. Oh, well. Just be careful. Okay, so from here, you're just going to take it off the loom. Do not rip it off. You'll be sorry. Trust me on that. You're just going to release the pressure or the tension, I might say, down the right and left side. So I just pop it off. Oops, just go through and and, and, uh, and just release the tension all the way up. Okay, and I'm going to do that on the right side too. I guess I could finish the left side. Or the, I'm going to do it on the left side. I guess I could have finished the right side without having to go off camera. So I think that's what I'll do is I'll just finish this left first. Okay. Now I'm going to finish up this right side. Okay. I relieved it off of that. Okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and relieve the next set. So I'm just going to, you got to get your hook way under because there's tons of bands. Just get it way up underneath. And you could do it one by one from the front, but I'm just going to go ahead and release it off these pegs too. I'll probably only do it for these two and then just pull it off the other way. Um, but this is what you do. Just 
pray that it comes out okay oops okay Let me go to this side do the same thing just make sure you're getting all up underneath and grabbing them I don't know why I'm having such a difficult time. It's the only thing I can think of is it's those extenders. I know I'm keep rambling on about it, but it's driving me nuts. Because I've done lots of nine pin bar um, renditions and just haven't had any issues. But I guess it's time to replace all these start off fresh okay now I'm just gonna go through instead of doing it another row I'm going to take each one off so you can just go through each one pop it off just like that Okay, sometimes I'll hold it up to where I get a better grip. And that way it pops off easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you finish this all the way up. And then I'll meet you back and show you what mine looks like taking off. So, because I need extra room here to maneuver. So I'll see you back in just oh a second. Oh my heavens. I think I'm in love with this one and this colors. So awesome. Now comes straightening the bands. You could take it off and leave it like that, but I see a bunch of twisted bands down in these suites. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to fix them. So basically, anything that I see that's twisted, this is how I do it. You see that second band right there? See how twisted that is? I grab it, and I'm not afraid to pull on it. See how twisted it is? And I'm going to twist it towards itself and see how it works itself out. And then I'll grab the other side and pull it, and there you go. Okay? And then it fixes it. So I will go through. You just twist. You twist. Um, I'm going to twist this direction because that's... The way it needs to go, you got. I think you you twist it towards the tw the band, the to the twist, and it straightens it out. So I will go through and fix up all my bands to make them lay properly because that's a pet peeve of mine on my designs or my bracelets. Anything that I do is to have straight bands. It's looking like these LEs are good because they're cylindric, so it doesn't matter. The white ones look appear to be pretty good. I'm going to get all this hair off. This fuzz sticks to this. But you see these medievals? Oh, my goodness. The medievals are really, really twisted here. So I'm going to show you one more time. People have such a hard time with these dual layer bands. I have, I don't really have an issue with them. Okay. Because I guess I know how to fix them. So you see how that, I want the silver to be on top because that's the bottom side of the, the um, medieval band. So what I do is I grab that band and I twist it. See how I'm twisting towards it? I'll twist and pull. It's still not laying the way that I want it. So I'll grab it and twist it again. Pull. Pull on the other side. And there you have it. And then it plops just fine. So this next one, I'll grab it. Like that. And I will twist it. Pull. Still not laying properly. Twist it again. Sometimes they're kind of a pain, but most of the times they'll they'll lay just prop, uh, lay just right. 
most of the time if you just pull up on them, say like this one, if I just grab it and twist, let me grab it and then twist, pull, and then pull this side, and there you go, and then it lays properly. So that's a good thing to to fix the bands because it just looks better, looks clean. And I'll try to get the bands that are laying up underneath here too, just so that it, but you can see just from there what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna fix all my bands and it should be perfect. That is the King's Armor. And it's such an amazing design. And the design is by uh, Nix Haley 22 on Instagram. So if you get a chance, go and follow her. She's an awesome person, an awesome designer. She's just now started designing and I've had the honor to be able to do one of her first of her three uh, tutorials. Here's the other one that she did in her colors, and I think they're both fabulous. This is the one I did. And I put this little charm because I figured it looked like a little bit of armor. Um, but this chain we put along the border, or I put along the border, she coached me on how to do that. And also these rhinestone chain. And what I'll do is I know that there's a tutorial coming out to show how to add the chain. Um, Nix Haley does it a different way. Um, it's elaborate. It's not too terribly much work. But I'm not 100% sure who's going to be doing the tutorial for it just yet. Um, I don't know if it's going to be Nick, or excuse me, Chidero, or if maybe she's got too much on her plate, or if maybe I will do it. So I will, someone will be doing it to be able to show you how to do this, because it just takes it to a whole new level. So anyway... Go give her a follow. That would be wonderful. Nix Haley 22 on Instagram. King's Armor. Did it, baby. Didn't break. Didn't come off. Good to go. Until next time. Peace out.